the most way. Now, let me invite the truth. Esika Chibata. In Tokos, Premier. Mr. Governor. Hello. Um. What has happened in this room this morning is the summary of my speech, which is value orientation. That the governor of Anambra State starts with the civil servants, answer their questions, dealt with their fears, and gave them hope in the whole purpose of value orientation. When we see the governor of Anambra driving an innocent vehicle, that is a critical message of value. I'm sure all of you listen to the news about the governor who paid till 2035 for his children's school fees in American International School. Now, he was governor in Kogi. 800,000 US dollars will have built any world class school in Kogi. But he decided to pay in American International School. So there is nothing he is telling me about governance that I will listen to because he doesn't believe in it. So when our governor says that school fees will not be paid in secondary schools and primary schools in Anambra because he wants to equalize education. For me, that is the greatest message of value. Because no matter how much you add to civil servant salary, and they have to send their children to private school, they have to pay private transport, they have to go to private hospital, their salary can never match their expenditure. So when you, as civil servants of the local government, go to work every day and do not care about how the buses in your local government will run and do not care about how the schools in your local government will work and do not care about how the medical centers built in the world will work, then no matter how much money you earn as civil servants, that money will disappear in paying for private services. So there is no value greater than the fact that the civil servants in Anambra, the public servants in the local government commission, is sitting down with the governor in an interactive session. And the governor is able to take their questions and answer. And I believe, Mr. Governor, from what you saw today, it is important that you don't stop this, that this becomes a more continuous um, program with different segments of society. Because what is happening is that the first vice people they develop whenever we get into government is Nkali. Nkali means that I am bigger than you. I have the superiority over you. Therefore, with my siren, I cannot have conversations with you. So when you're a civil servant and somebody comes to your office to pay for a service, to look for a service, the first attitude you get from the public servant is that, why are you here? Please go and stand on the queue. Don't do this. Don't do that. Because every position for us is a position of Unkale. And every exhibition of Unkale trickles down from the top. So if the governor has said the state Esco council is important, therefore we spend five minutes here but decided to spend 40 minutes dealing with the issues arising from the room. It is that ability to bring yourself down from that high horse, not to show Nkali to Ndia Feinachi, but to show them that Nile Tinyuchu Number two is the concept of Mpale, because we believe that whoever we are greater than, we can talk to them in any manner. So even when the audience agitated the governor with the issue of, with the issue of, um, with the issue of the minimum wage, 
instead of him to take it as an affront, he decided to explain what he means by minimum wage. And when he explained it, I saw the faces of many people change that this minimum wage is not only for government to, it is for all of us. It is for my driver. It is for my cook. Anybody that you are paying below the minimum wage is now, can now go to court to say you are paying him below the minimum wage, which is a law. So the idea of Mbale, the idea of talking down to people, the idea that what our position means is that we can talk to people anyhow. We can treat them with disdain. We can subjugate them. It's one problem that the people in service have because the higher and mighty governors, the presidents, are showing us that we are beneath them. So at every level, we are showing everybody that they are beneath us. Therefore, if you eschew Nkale, then you will not have Mpale as a philosophy of life, as an attitude to live in. And when you do not have, if you eschew that Mpale and Nkale, then the greatest tragedy of our society, Mbebu, will not be available in your behavior. Because everything we do as our government, only open that if we don't sit at home, they will shoot us. Yes, if you say to me that I cannot go on the road because you are proposing an idea, and you see for me not agreeing, you will kill me. So every attitude of governance, every time you sit in your office and take that decision, that means that instead of a um, three-quarter pan to cover a school, you put one quarter. Oh, maybe. Every time you took a decision that that road, that flower, that thing that needs to be done in the local government, that evaluation of staff, that you will do it to favor your friend, then you know, maybe we're interning in another the society. Because ultimately, we would then have to send our children to private school. We would then have to go to private hospital. We then have to pay public transport that is private because the civil servants have taken decisions to enhance their own pockets at the expense of the society. So, you forget that a day will come when you will be former permanent secretary, former chief judge, former governor, former House of Rep member, and then you will then require those services as former chief accounting officer, former chief admin officer, former chief inspectorate officer, you will then require those services. And when they do not exist, you will then say the state is not working. So the idea of eschewing Nkale, Mpale, Namibu is at the heart of our public service system. Because once we do that, then the two words used by the governor comes in, empathy and sympathy. If you empathize with the society, you will know that it is a disgrace that the whole local government staff are sitting here. And I go to Google Map to look for my address in Obosi. It is said, H-E-B-A-B-M, or behind St. Andrew's Church, Obosi. Makadamen wore address, a warum street name, a warum street number. It's a disgrace. That the civil servants I go to work every day, collect money, and the function given to you by the constitution, street naming and street numbering, you have not done it. And we pay you every month. So let's even stop talking about what we are getting, because the governor said something for something. But let's talk about that something that benefits all of us. Because you know the implication. The state is not able to send me a letter today and say, Osita, you are in violation of this rule or that rule. Because say, what am I address? No society you go to in Africa, in the world, that the basic function, street name and address, is not done. And yet we have staff like this, beautiful looking people, who go around without a street name and address. 
I'm liberal. <laughs> if you take it from there, and you think that you are going to the local government, and I've been looking out for the local government transition chairman, and they were on websites where I can get information about my local government, where I can know whether I can submit application for building permits, whether I can submit application to open a new school, whether I can open an application for any government service, including paying tenement rates. The most difficult taxes to collect are tenement, personal income, and this. And they are the richest taxes in the world. That is the one the government in Nigeria is not collecting. Everybody wants to collect VAT and, and company tax. Those are the easiest taxes. And they, did not, they do not constitute a major segment of taxation anywhere in the world. The major taxation comes from property tax, personal income tax. And the fact that no name were addressed for us, so this salary a minimum wage of whatever, 60,000, would have been child's play if you were collecting the taxes that is available in Anambra. Anambra will be telling the federal government, here, we pay 100,000 because our civil servants are working. <laughs> so, when you, wear your, when you go to work every day, that is why I decided to reduce this conversation to the values. No amount of digital skills you will acquire. No amount of salary increases you will get. No amount of bonuses you will get will cover the issue of what I call systematic failure. The inability to perform basic functions of government. There is no society in the world where these basic functions are not being performed by people like me and you. So, Abu Nunu decided yeah, that you will be showing us Nkale because you are the authority. You can determine who gets a motor park. You can determine who does what service. We will live with it. But just know that when you leave that office, you will join us on this other side where you will require those same services. So, we must begin to view government not as the place to go to, but as part of our lives, as part of what we do for ourselves. In the 1970s, no civil servants complained that their salary was not enough because their children went to public schools. They were free. Their children went to public secondary school. I went to Zika Avenue Primary School in Enugu. I went to Okunano Boys. I went to University of Nigeria. And my parents did not pay anything. But today, you have to take your children to private primary school, private secondary school, and private university if you want them to have a better life. And the challenge is that nobody is seeing that between what you do and the reason why we are no more in those public schools. So while I like the conversation about minimum wage, I want to hear the conversation of minimum output. What will be the minimum output when we put the minimum wage? How many hours a day are we going to do the work to generate the minimum output? <laughs> so, I want to bring this together. I want to end this because the governor has done my work for me. I want to end this by saying the local government, I, I hear the governor when he said there are no three federating units. Mana, I want to conclude this by saying that the idea of government, the idea that we still think of government as colonial government, 
the district officer, the British colonial district officer in Onitsha, who used to oversee what is now the present Anambra state, constructed the tank in Ekobosi, that is the pipe bone water that, was in, that is in Obosi, that is no more working, was constructed by the district colonial officer in 1954-55, during the period that we were doing experimenting with internal self-government. How it happens today that we are not able to do these basic functions, and yet we have more civil servants, we have more percentage of our revenue going to the public service, and we are not performing basic functions is a mystery to me. So I want to ask that what the local government has done, the local government service commission, in talking about values reorientation, is not going to be a one-day job. It is going to be that we must continue to evaluate ourselves. We must continue to imbibe the concept of uche, of wisdom, of ability to think, process that information, and to add uchu in whatever we do, because we are going to be the beneficiaries. So, I weapon kale mbali na mbewu, ayetinia uche, uchu le uguchuku. And what will happen is that in five years' time, I can promise you, in the next 10 years, many of you will be retired from the service. And by the time you retire, you will meet a society far worse than the one you have today because that has been the story of Nigeria. It's getting worse every day. So if we do not make that effort to stop this fall and just wedge it here, so that the maximum we can say is that there is no way to fight crime if we don't know who lives in our communities. So if you go to Dubai and you go and do rent, you will do a rental agreement with your landlord. He takes the rental agreement to the local government and file it there with the names of everybody who live in that house and their national identity number. That way, the local government can say, this boy in Onofia who was arrested was living in our community. Then we can say, these are the friends he keeps. These are the people who move around with him. Security is not about gun. It is about the work of public servants who are able to say, that boy aged in there, no, 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 so the local government is at the very basic able to help us in documenting who lives in our local government. It is basic in documenting the number and address of the houses. I will tell you a final story. When the army was going to Joss to fight a war, again to stop a riot, they were killing people in Joss. When they came out, it turned out that the road sign that showed them direction had been torn by the wind and was pointing the other way. So when they saw the sign saying this way to Hawan Kibo, they followed that way. By the time they realized they had gone the wrong direction and came back, over 1,000 persons has been killed. So this is to tell you how important every little thing is. If somebody had just replaced the, that um, road sign to point in the right direction, maybe a 1,000 lives will have been saved. So I want you to see that the work you do is capable of saving lives. So I will ask you that this value reorientation, as you eschew Nkale, as you Iwepo Mpale, Iwepo Mbebu, Itinyagene Uche, Itinyagene Uchu, and Gene Eguchuku, Dalon. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, sir. It is always a delight listening to you. Ask him, can I mean, second or two minutes? Not two minutes. A bit of CIA, can well, Zukumana. Um, I want a Bible, on my mother, Tossel Jesus, and I got a cap on my double fortune, double and cap, I found a desire, but I didn't care. And they are not Doma, I can also exco, exco, next go. Now, so for Exco, Vachelo, Exco, Cello, Exco, Cello. Now, the care bar, or the care bar, come on.
I want to, I want to thank you immensely, uh, Iko Obosi. Quite frankly, our book and not cheap. A web, it's okay. Can no two minutes. Can can we zoop we zoop? Now, we zoop we can we zoop is it? No, they buy they kill you no. We no know this year no. Then I go to DJ anywhere. Eh?